Hi guys, so it is Sunday fun day and I am in sunny California enjoying myself a little bit. Uh, before I get to work, I'm gonna have some coffee, enjoy myself and catch a few rays. Let me ask you a question. Are you really ready to submit that resume? Hit that send button. But before you do, listen to some of my tips. Hi guys, welcome to Five Minutes with Carla Lewis where I help you help yourself organize your life. And today we are gonna be talking about the resume. And I'm happy about this because I'm very passionate about what a person's resume should look like. And first off, we're going to discuss the email address. Just real quick, make it professional. First name, last name. Maybe if it's taken, just put a dot in between or put a number at the end, but have it be something that is very, very professional, straightforward. And you don't wanna have cuddlebear72 at blah, 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 doc, you know, dot com. You want it to be something professional, grown up. We all have those email addresses, you know, cuddlebear72, but for this, you don't want to have that. The other thing too is, is that your resume should either be in a, a, a font that is legible, first off, Arial, uh, Cabrali, you know, those fonts that are very easy to see, and um, you would want to have it in either a blue color meaning a navy blue or black. I really don't recommend going away from those two colors. That Another thing with your resume, there are several different kinds. Uh, there is the kind where you bullet, you just bullet point your, your talents, or there are the kind where you put it in a format of a paragraph. Mine's in a paragraph format. I've had the same one for a while and haven't really had to update it because I've been at my job for a very long time. But some of the new ones that I see are in a bullet format and either one is absolutely fine. But you want to make sure that it is no longer than two pages. Mine's one page. Like I say, I've been at my employers when I was at other previous employers for a long time. So I only have one page is all I need. I don't need to make it frilly or anything like that. Professional, straight to the point. But for those of you that feel you might need to have three pages, check with a professional resume writer because they'll advise you on what is best. I say two pages is the most. The other thing too is when you're writing out your resume, have it kind of complement the place that you're applying for. So if they have a mission statement, which most companies do, you may want to just go and check their website and pull out power words, wow words, because a lot of times when you submit your application, using those words gets pulled out of a computer system and you are, are recognized for those. Uh, because then you have the same values as the company and they like that. So that's another thing that you should uh, take some time and do. The other thing, and I cannot stress this enough, is when you write your resume, this is providing you don't have a professional write it for you. When you write it, go ahead, write it out, but walk away from it. Go for a walk, turn off the computer, then come back and look at it. Because it's guaranteed that you're going to find errors. Maybe you've used the word in the wrong context, or maybe you've just spelt it incorrectly, or you didn't capitalize it. But what you need to do is make sure that you do not have typos in your resume. It is glaring, everybody sees them. They, they, they just stand out. You cannot deny it. So just take the time to always look at your resume. Maybe you have somebody else look at it because that's a really good idea too. A fresh eye, hey, can you just check my resume real quick? So those are my tips on 
the resume and I'm really excited to bring them to you and I hope that this helps you get the job that you're looking for and I hope that you have a great experience job hunting and that you have a wonderful week. Thank you for tuning in with 5 Minutes with Carla Lewis.